show, though. Match number four, and, you know... We didn't know it yet, but this is going to be a moment that will live in infamy. It's game four of Heat 1 in the Fortnite Winter Royale semifinal. Sam waits in a corner, holding the dreaded Infinity Blade, and looks for his opportune moment. Right when he sees players fighting, he springs into action, wrecking havoc on the tiny circle. He smashes into the builds and hacks players to death. He immediately jumps into the air and continues to knock down players from high ground, collecting even more kills. It's chaos everywhere and only gets worse when his competitors have to rotate from the storm. Sam kills 8 players in a single minute. He finished the game with 12 kills, catapulting him to the top of the standings. It doesn't matter anymore, and this is Psalm's world, and we are just merely living in it. The Infinity Blade is too good, it's so powerful. Like all the pros that day, 100 Thieves Kenneth could not be more disappointed with the Tuesday patch. He spoke about how awful of a weapon it was for competitive play. Today's Winter Real Finals and yesterday's semifinals were ab an absolute mess. For the second time now, Epic have introduced a last minute patch before a major tournament that is completely meta changing. And this time around, it was not just meta changing, but like winner deciding, right? Whoever got the sword basically won. The Infinity Blade left its mark on the semifinals. Several players had it late game and rocked everyone rotating into the shrinking zone. It is going crazy here. Just one stellar game with the blade easily qualified several players to the finals. The next day was no different. While pros tried to play around the blade, it was just too much. The sword went a long way in deciding who won. You know, I honestly just want to like cry, honestly. Like, not even kidding. This wasn't the first time Epic made a last second change, but this tournament, it was different. I get it. The sword is really fun. It made you and me watch. It looked great for a ton of viewers. It's a whole new style of play, and there's only one on the entire map. Sure, in your normal duo or squad games, it doesn't seem broken. You could find ways to beat it. You could protect yourself from its damage, and you usually have some backup. But, in a competitive scene, the sword was horribly executed and, frankly, a poor decision. Basically. Uh -oh. And what's up, Vix? How you doing over here? Uh -oh. have, you, uh, have you met the Infinity uh -oh. Blade? Yeah, Vix did now. <laughs> to start, Epic Games released the Infinity Blade on the literal start of the semifinals of the Winter Skirmish. Just think, hundreds of thousands of dollars are literally on the line in the skirmish. Players have been practicing for months for this tournament. You had to qualify in advance, and for some, it was their first professional opportunity. Imagine pouring your heart and soul into this moment, this one chance, and Epic decides to throw your hard work away the day of the tournament. It's like if the NFL made a field 200 yards instead of 100 the day the playoffs started. The timing was horrible. And the thing is, there was an easy fix. Maybe don't put such a game-changing weapon into the game the day of your biggest tournament of the winner. I feel like this isn't too difficult. While you might be saying the sword hasn't completely rocked you in a normal game, competitively, it's a freaking nightmare. Heat 1 was a mess. Most of the players competing barely had any time to prepare for the Infinity Blade. It was complete chaos. Players were jumping around and smashing everything in their sight. Heat 2 was a different story. The sword player became smarter. They waited to strike and destroyed everyone rotating into the final two zones. Seriously. Players vaulted up into the standings just because they had one weapon. It was impossible to combat. Well, Flossen won the game! He gets the swing off, which gives him the HP to eat the- The sword is so powerful in competitive play because of how clumped the players are. These aren't your normal solo games. Upwards of 40 people are alive heading into the last few zones. There are people playing high ground, people camping low ground, and players just trying to stay alive in the middle. The Infinity Blade wrecks havoc on everyone. You could body people trying to build high. You could surprise anyone in enclosed places and you have the extra mobility to actually stay alive. If you were smart with the sword, you were basically guaranteed a high finish, high kill game. Epic Games' screw up brings up an age old question for esports. How do you balance between competitive play and casual play? The sword is fun, but there isn't a space for it in competitive play. At the very least, it should have been put in a limited time mode. Esports has such an appeal because you can see something in pro play and you can go practice the same thing in your games. It's advantageous to have casual and pro gamers be similar to each other. But every action from Epic just shows that they do not care about competitive play. Epic can actually have a pretty simple fix. Create a tournament server. Fortnite has proven they can do this. They have the pop-up tournament with its own rules and create new modes weekly. 
League of Legends has been an established and popular esport for years. They have made some mistakes, but each mistake is easier to fix because of how they organize their leagues. Every respective league plays at least one patch, sometimes even two, behind. Meaning, they aren't necessarily playing the same game as you, but it's very close. If there are any game-breaking abilities or items that Riot Games isn't happy about, they could change it. A tournament realm would allow Epic to directly control their competitive play. They could test items in the casual and normal game modes and pick and choose what to actually use in their tournaments. Pros would certainly rage less and would actually know what is going to happen in a tournament. Rather than changing the way the game is played the day of, Fortnite will have a buffer. Epic needs to stop thinking that they know what they're doing. They need to just actually listen to the community and the pro players for once because the multiple of the people who have been competing have proven that they're one of the best and they just need to listen to the community for once instead of always aiming to uh satisfy or appeal to the casuals because after a point like the general casuals that they try to appeal to and when i mean casuals i just mean people who don't take the game too seriously and just maybe watch and play here and there those people that they try to appeal to will unsurprisingly follow and listen to the words of what their favorite streamers and pro players say and what they believe. So if you're not satisfying the competitive community, you're also going to have a whole bunch of people who don't take this game that seriously also still mad at you. So what they need to do is sit down and actually talk with the pro players and listen to what they say for once. Let's hope that Epic Games learns from this mistake. In the long run, it's only one tournament that will become infamous because of a balancing error. Fortnite seems almost too big to fail, but if they alienate one half of their player population, anything could happen. Competitive play matters. It's healthy for the game and brings more fans and intrigue from beyond the video game community. Epic has never cared about competitive play. They better be careful before they hit a point of no return. All that harsh feedback from today from literally not just the whole pro community, but from probably everyone in the casual community as well. And what I can see is going to happen is nothing's going to change and Epic is still going to do what they're going to do and continue to maybe ruin their game. This has been Tim with Pro Guides. If you're interested in seeing more videos like these, subscribe to our channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think Epic should change and leave a like if you enjoyed watching. I really love the community we're building here. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm going to personally respond to you guys in the chat, so please leave a comment. I really want to know what you guys think. Have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.